Alright, hey guys, Fiddle Ferret here, back to bring you yet another manga first take. And today... Today, we're looking at a series that I never heard of until I bought it off of um, the Right Stuff sale. And I was like, it looks interesting, I'll give it a read. And I can only equate reading this book to like a couple things. And I equated it to... It's like watching a car crash. It's horrifying, it's terrible, terrifying, but you just can't look away. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a short look at The Flowers of Evil. So, The Flowers of Evil is a very interesting story. It revolves around our main character, Takao Katsuga. And so, he is a young middle schooler, you know, just pretty normal kid, it seems like, for the most part. And this, the story takes place in a very normal setting in the world. Normal world, normal people, normal place. <clears throat> and so, he's going to school, and he's got a crush on a girl, as all middle schoolers do. And her name is Nakao Seki. Or, uh, Seki, yeah, Seki. Nakao, that works. So goes through life and he has a fateful encounter one day when he is in the classroom alone and he notices a bag on the floor and he goes to look what's in it and he finds that it is her uniform, her gym uniform. I'm presuming used gym uniform. And so he sees it, he's nervous, whatever. So he goes to leave, but in a fair, fairly, I'm going to say fairly because stuff's going to get weirder here. In a fairly normal thing, he's tempted and he goes back, he grabs it out, he's holding it, and he can smell her shampoo. Weird? Granted. Something a middle schooler maybe wouldn't do? Maybe granted a little bit better. Middle schoolers, they're weird, awkward kids that do weird things. Anyway, he hears someone, uh, thinks someone's around, he panics and grabs the uniform and puts it under his shirt and takes it home. So, next day, obviously, the class is a bit disturbed because someone has stolen Nakao's uniform. And so there's a pervert in the class, blah, blah. So he's nervous, he's freaking out, he doesn't really know what to do. And he is found out, because a classmate saw him do it, by <clears throat> the interesting Nakamaru, who is another girl that sits right behind him in class. Uh, this is a problem girl, kind of a problem child. She seems to have problems. Uh, she calls the teacher a shit bug on several occasions. She noticed him do this and take it, and she is convinced to reveal. She is convinced to. I don't. This is. It's kind of hard to do. She loves the fact that he's a pervert, and she wants to pull out his pervertness. And so, with. Weird things start to happen, and this is where this book starts to go off the rails. You have instances of her shoving her uh, um, Nakao's uniform on him to truly show him what a pervert he is, and increasingly disturbing acts occur between them uh, for her as uh, she's trying to pull out the weird, disgusting pervert that Takao Kasuga is. And this is basically where the series jumps off. <clears throat> and this is just where the series in the books, because I'm trying to keep this a minimum to the first book. I've read the first seven books, but this is like a first take on just the first book alone. And so, reading this was just like, I was disturbed to the point where I was like, this is so weird and cringy. And I was like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't. I was like, oh, please make it stop. But like I said, I kept reading it and I read like the whole thing and after that I sat there in a slight daze and was just like, oh, it's like I don't... what's become of my life but but I immediately went and started reading volume 2 which is what I think makes this series very interesting it's this series, I would say, uh, The Flowers of Evil is not necessarily for the faint of heart. The Flowers of Evil is a slightly disturbing story um, that really calls into question... <coughs> Excuse me. People's characters and people's nature and how far people will go and I even how easily influenced young minds can be 
by like almost peer pressure because I still believe um, Kasuga isn't a pervert or a disgusting kid. I think he was a kid that had a bad impulse that did something he shouldn't have and then panicked when thought he got caught and now is caught in a whirlwind um, of increasingly despicable deeds that he basically in the end can't escape and almost starts to believe that he is you know he is what um, Nakamura is saying he is and so very interesting and along the lines um, Na Nanako gets dragged in and you see her twisted desires that are also drawn out so the flowers of evil especially the first volume is quite the roller coaster of emotions and you know psychological you know people act and what they do during certain situations so I plan to do another video some other time on when I finish the flowers of evil maybe I'll do like a, a, a review of it at that time but uh, this is just for the first volume, and so if you want to pick up The Flowers of Evil, if you want something a bit weird, a bit perverted, but not in the, not in the traditional, like, just like, etchy way. It's perverted in the actual perverted way, you know, when I, I mean, if that makes any sense. Disturbing perversion. So, anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy this manga first take. A like would be very much appreciated if you would go ahead and do that. I do some figure unboxings, some manga reviews, some manga first takes, uh, and visual novels. So if any of that interests you, be sure to check out my channel and see what other videos I have. But anyway guys, I've been Fatal Ferret, and I'll see you back on the Prowl next time. Bye bye